our first activity is to rewrite this algorithmic flow chart, which is meant to sort an array in descending order, but make it a pseudocode example. Now I've actually taken this activity from past paper questions because I think this is a really, really useful question. They've also put a couple of errors in it and we just spot those as we go. If we have a look at how we compare it, you'll see that actually the layout of the flowchart works really well for building this stuff. It's declaring the values are there, so we declare them in the pseudocode. Uh, then we've got a while loop, so we need to set the values and create the while loop. But most of the constructs there, apart from the ones that were slightly off, which we've changed, are described quite clearly in the flowchart. And that's reasonably a straightforward way of moving between them. The recursion activity then, uh, it gives it away a little bit by me titling it recursion activity, but the question is name this type of algorithm and give two features of it. You'll see that on the penultimate line it calls itself. So what that means is it's a recursive algorithm. Now a recursive algorithm must always have a terminating condition, a way of stopping. And what it is is an algorithm that calls itself during execution. So this is another feature of it. Dry run the algorithm using a trace table that tracks the value of the current and next for each iteration. They're the variables that are declared in that first line. Explain the purpose of the program. All right, well, let's have a look, see what it does. So our first iteration, or iteration zero before it starts, is with a current and next value of one and two. So that's before the while loop starts. Then our first iteration gives us current is two and next is three. And then we end up with current is six and next is four. Then we end up with current being 24, so a big jump there, and next is 5. So that looks like, to me, the program's calculating the cumulative multiplication of each value. So what it's doing is it's multiplying the current value by the next value each time. It's a cumulative multiplication. And these sort of questions are reasonably straightforward as long as you can follow the pseudocode given. The big O activity here, below is part of an algorithm that initializes a 2D array. It's named grid and it's got a size of n by n and it initializes them with zeros. Evaluate the efficiency of the algorithm and using big O, determine the growth rate for the time performance. Okay, so we've got a for loop within a for loop. So it goes through every location in that grid. Well, first of all, if we're doing n lots of n, that means we're executing it n times n times. In other words, n squared. So as n increases, n squared will increase as a polynomial. So basically, the big O of this is n squared. 